Hello, my name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to remove and fit a cassette. Today we'll be swapping a Shimano cassette. You don't need a lot of tools, some paper towels, a chain whip, a Shimano HG lock ring tool, the cassette that you're going to fit and a bit of grease. So this is the bike that we're going to be working on. So we're changing the cassette which is the sprockets at the back on the rear wheel. There's a couple of reasons why you might be wanting to do this. Perhaps you've just fitted a new chain and you found it slipping on the worn cassette. Perhaps you're changing your chain and cassette at the same time. Or perhaps you want to change the ratio of the cassette. If you're going for a larger first gear, so a bigger sprocket, you might find that you need to lengthen your chain or indeed fit a new one. We did cover that in a recent video, so you might want to pay that a visit. In order to remove the cassette, we've got to take out the back wheel. To make this easier, we're going to shift all the way down into top gear at the back. So that's the smallest sprocket. Release your brake. This will give you a bit more clearance. Undo the quick release lever. Should allow the wheel to come out of the frame. Nice and easy. With the wheel out of the bike, we're ready to remove the cassette. Undo the nut from the end of the quick release. Make sure you've got the small spring as well. Just spring on the other end. Just nip the nut on there so it's all safe. In order to remove the cassette, we're going to need a chain whip. This holds the cassette stationary, stops it from freewheeling. So just wrap the chain around one of the smaller sprockets and grab your HG lock ring tool. And we're pushing that down, undoing the lock ring in an anti-clockwise motion. There's your lock ring. There's one of the sprockets. And there's the rest of them. If you're going to keep it, run a zip tie around all the sprockets and the lock ring just to keep it all together and safe because there's lots of different bits. Some of them are all attached. It's your main cluster at the end. And then the rest, for the most part, will be individual sprockets and spacers. With the cassette off the free body, you may as well give it a clean. You don't see it all that often, so give it a treat. Then you're ready to fit the new cassette. So the cassette is now mounted onto this little plastic carrier, kind of like Campag have been doing for, for a long time now. On the free body, you'll notice that there's a space for a, a large spline. So the this tab pulls off and this notch shows where the large spline on the cassette is. So it'll slide straight on onto the free body. If you line them up, like so. They should go straight on in one easy movement, like so. So it's having to put them all on individually. Then just remove the lock ring and the final sprocket. Fit that in place with the large spline and a large space on the free body. And then with a little bit of grease on the threads. You can tighten the lock ring into place. Always nip it up by hand to start with. Before you get the tool out and really crank down on the lock ring, just make sure that everything is as it should be. If you fail to put them on using the new plastic carrier, just make sure that the sprockets are all aligned as they should be. So obviously you haven't got any larger sprockets mixed up and they're all in the, in the proper order. Check that everything's seated properly, especially the final sprocket, because if you've not quite got it on line, it can still be possible to tighten up the lock ring and you could damage something. Give it a spin, if it all looks good, then we're ready to tighten the lock ring. Tightening torque is 40 Newton meters pretty tight. 
and you're ready to refit your quick release. Just remove the nut, make sure your spring has the narrow end facing in towards the hub. Pop a bit of grease on the threaded section. This will get smeared across the skewer as you insert it into the hub. 